Welcome to Run 50 States My Way, runcations for every level of runner. Subscribe to travel with Ryan and I as we journey the 50 states on our running and travel adventures, one race at a time. Happy Halloween, Run 50 States My Way. It's Ashley, Ryan's behind me. We wanted to do something a little different today and showcase a run and a destination you can do here in the Columbus area. We are at the Columbus Zoo, which is in Powell, Ohio, for their Halloween 5K. Check it out. We are about 20 minutes from race start, so we're heading over to where we're supposed to be. And that is the tiger exhibit. <laughs> And I don't know, we're gonna see what's up. We're gonna have a chance to tour the zoo and get a 5K in and have a little bit of Halloween fun. So, this is Ashley and Ryan taking pictures, saying again, happy Halloween for a 5K adventure in Columbus on Halloween. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and comment down below as we check out this fabulous, chilly Halloween morning in Columbus. <laughs> what better way to start off a family race at the Columbus Zoo for the 5K but for a kid's dash? How far do the kids go? Quarter of a mile. Thank you for a parent who actually potentially has a child um, that's getting ready to run, <laughs> getting their fitness on. Um, quarter of a mile, which is really cool. So they get to start off everything, they get to kick off everything, and then the adults and families get to do their 5K. So they're getting ready to go. They're super cute, adorable, and they have to beat him. He's the pacer. He's warming up. He's revving up. He's ready to go. <laughs> go, kids, go! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, you're doing so good! He's doing so good! Here comes the first kiddo. It is a female, ladies and gentlemen, rocking it out. Future Boston runner. Woohoo! And the rest of the crowd comes in. Woohoo! Get your medals. Get your medals. <laughs> Tiger Shelter Pavilion, we have our post-race goodies of granola bars, bananas, and water. So great job to the race company who put this race together. We're getting ready to do a 5K at the Columbus Zoo and in quintessential Ashley fashion, I'm freezing. Um, but that's okay because we'll warm up and we're still gonna have fun. Um, it looks like it might actually be a sunny day and uh, I'm rocking out a little bit of my Haunted Mansion stuff for the day. Even got the socks. I just didn't go full on out Haunted Mansion. Um, wanted to keep it kind of low key but I still might put on more of the outfit uh, for when we tour the zoo a little bit later. Even have my Haunted Mansion um, wallpaper mask for when we get a little closer to people in some of the indoor exhibits. So stay tuned. This is Ashley coming at you from the Columbus Zoo. Before any race, it's important to stretch. Ryan is stretching and I'm doing some leg exercises. Getting ready for our 5k and we're off the key is to remember to start your watch <laughs> and here we go
out there. Ryan and I are just taking it nice and slow today. This is about having fun. And we are two weeks away from state number 11 with Chickamauga, Georgia. So not going crazy today. But I do want to point out but exactly one year ago today, Ryan completed his 50 miler at Mohegan State Park in Ohio. So it's hard to believe that this time last year, we were in the state park, or right outside of it actually, because of COVID. And he was killing it with his 50 miles at the Mohican 100. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> love it, love it. We are passing by the carousel, which you can buy tickets for. And it looks like heading into Australia and then circling around the Congo to ensure a full 5K. For this race, we do have to go outside Oops, this way, sorry. I'm like, wait a minute. Thank you. <laughs> we have to exit the zoo into the parking lot and then we'll swing back around and come back inside. So we are right about a quarter, no, three quarters of a mile, almost to a mile. Like, where are we? Thank you, honey. Exiting the zoo. Just past mile one, had a 1350 pace. Not too shabby. We're just trying to take it easy. We're having a great time. First finisher is crushing it. And we are doing great. We've made it to the water stop. This is the one and only water stop on the course. And this is also the turning point. We are at 1.59. Going back into the zoo. Thank you, sir. There are still cars, because this is still a road. But we are rocking it out, and we just might get some sun. So this is like our one and only hill on the course. We walked up it, we are gonna run down it, but before we start running, I want to point out, if you can kind of see it, what makes our zoo really cool, runner on my left, is that we have a water park inside of it called Zumbezi Bay. So it's half water park, half zoo, and then there are some carnival rides in the Zumbezi Bay area as well. So our zoo is almost like a um, amusement park style zoo which makes it really unique and really nice. You can kind of see how it sits down in this little valley in Powell, Ohio. We also have solar panels at our zoo and we never realized that. So great way to conserve energy. Very cool. We walked most of the second mile. We still did some running but we finished the second mile in a 14.39 pace so considering 13.50 first mile and then we switch to more walking. I'd say we're holding our own and still doing really, really great. Taking it slow and having fun. Home stretch.
We are inside the Stingray Pavilion where you can touch a stingray. It's a cuddle party with the otters. Cuddle party. Hi, little buddy. here at the zoo. It is all about sea lions. We are in the tunnel section. I found Dory. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Hi, buddy. Little Tasmanian devil. I was just warned by the zookeeper that the kangaroos are very active this morning, so we are asked to be very careful. Stay on the path and don't get too close. And there they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so awesome. When do you get to come to the zoo and see so many awesome active animals? This is so great. Look at those kangaroos. So many of the exhibits have these door sections where they ask one family to come in and out at a time. This protects the animals and lets them have more of a natural habitat, but like I was just saying, going through the kangaroo exhibit, they are very active. So you do have to be mindful of your small children when you go to the zoo, um, and uh, us adults too. Like this, they are still wild animals, they are... Um, you know, still in, in an environment that makes it feel a little bit more natural and like home. But as a result of that, we have a responsibility as adults to be more careful. So this is awesome. Absolutely great. We found the Okapi. Never know what you're gonna find at the zoo. <laughs> found some dinosaurs. This is a newer exhibit at Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, and it's a boat ride that goes through these dinosaurs, kind of like a Jurassic Park type feel. 
But what's cool, while the exhibit and the boat ride is closed right now for the season, you can come up this bridge and still see the dinosaurs, which is really cool. Let's go check out the Tyrannosaur. He is literally right here. So if you don't want to pay extra, or like in this case, it's closed, you can still see them. The little otters definitely want to go back home. They do not want to be outside today. Oh, little buddies. Here they come. <laughs> go guys, go! Now they're happy. Ryan the Rhino who is not cooperating with the video and won't turn. There we go, Brian. Yay! Thank you for turning. Bitty, bitty, baby elephant. If there's a docent that can ask for a question, okay? Oh, red panda. Yeah, no, it was it was a really good day for it. Rachel was a good Or zebras. But the lions are right in front of us. We found Pumbaa. Oh, hey, bud. We found the warthogs. Getting ready for Christmas.